What's up, YouTube? It's your boy James to the O. Hey, man. Dun, 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 dun. Anyways, I think they're going to run the tables in the pack 12. South and North, hell. Did y'all see that game last week? I thought it was going to be a close game. So I was like, hell, I'm taking Stanford plus a seven. I think SC going to win, but don't cover the point spread. That's what I thought. Thought wrong. SC punched them fools in the mouth. Woo! Damn! First drive. They marched down the field. Five, six plays, touchdown. So, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stanford came right back at them. There was one particular play Stanford ran. It was a running play. They had, like, four linemen sealed off. They sealed that whole side. I was like, damn. That was a beautiful play. But that play ran for, like, 70, 60 yards for a touchdown. If y'all saw the game, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. It happened in the first quarter. They had to see off. It was a big old gap. Touchdown. Stanford. Okay, Stanford. SC came right back. 14 7. Boom. They run down a throat. Receivers getting getting creation space, getting open. Sam Darnold. He still threw those two nasty picks. Ugh. If you had zipped it a little bit more, that one pick that the safety cheated over with and picked it off at the one yard line, that'd have been a touchdown. But he didn't have enough zip on it, so hey, that got picked. Two interceptions, three points. Stanford, you suck. I like David Shaw. I like Stanford. But they came off the bye from Sydney, Australia. They blew out rice, had a bye week, then they came to the Coliseum and they got. Ooh, they got, they got, they got it handed to them. Oh my gosh, they got served badly, just uh, right in their mouth. I think USC Trojans gonna run a Pac-12. I think I'm gonna get my wish that I predict might be the matchup for a national title. I have Alabama Crimson Tide playing against USC Trojans. No, it's not gonna be 52 to six like it was the last time. Alabama's problem is running quarterbacks that can throw. Sam Darnold is one of them. I'm not saying he's a giant Manziel. I'm just saying that he could give Alabama fits. Now, will SC win? Oh, yeah, another thing. You can throw on Alabama. You just can't run on them. That's all. But, hey, they got Texas coming up. They should be able to beat Texas. They should be able to run the tables all throughout the Pac-12, regardless of who they play. And like I said before, I think Sam Darn gonna win the Heisman Trophy. But watch out, cause Josh Rosen, he's gonna be a candidate. He threw for like 10, 12 touchdowns and no picks. But he ain't play nobody, so whatever. Texas AM, that was cool. Down 44 to 10, rally 45-44 for the win. But that has nothing to do with SC. I think SC gonna run the tables in the in the conference. If they get in the playoff picture. Wherever they play, they're going to beat them. They're going to meet Alabama. That's what I believe. I could be wrong, but that's just what I believe. But, yeah. That game there, Stanford. Ooh, we Stanford got crushed. Them boys looking on the sidelines like, what's to do, coach? <laughs> they were exhausted. Everything. They was getting worked. I ain't seen Stanford get worked like that in a long time, but they got worked. Oh, Stanford, physical team, this, this, and that. SC gave them a taste of their own damn medicine. 42 to 24. And when they kicked that field goal, I was telling my neighbor, I said, oh, Stanford kicking field goals. Oh, hell, they not going to make it. Not kicking them damn field goals. No, you ain't. And then USC came right back, scored a touchdown. I said, that's why you don't kick field goals in games like this. <laughs> Stanford, uh, USC definitely set the standards for that game. They controlled that game all the way through. Good job, USC. Awesome. I know you fans love that game. Like, comment, share, subscribe to this video. Tell me what you think about the USC-Stanford game. And tell me what you think about USC running the Pac-12 conference this year.